Hello, welcome back. I'm Statman Dave. Today we are going to be doing Statman Dave Select, helping all your teams out with the transfer problems. Today we're looking at Arsenal, West Ham, and of course Antonio Conte Spurs. Subscribe if you're new, like the Gone Dad video. Anyway, let's dive in. Um, we've done some uh, some work on a few of your questions, uh, so we'll dive through those ones first, and then maybe we'll take a look at uh, the feed and anything else that has come through. Um, I think first and foremost, uh, we've got a question from our good friend, the Runner Bean, um, resident uh, Burnley fan. If you want to get involved, um, use the hashtag SMD Selects uh, with your problem. Uh, so Ryan, Runner Bean, uh, Burnley Tarkovsky replacement, uh, likely Cornet and McNeil replacement, and likely a Pope replacement. So the stipulations of Statman Dave selects is we can only do one player at a time. Um, Burnley obviously relegated from the Premier League. There is a few problems that do need to, do need to be solved. Um, I don't believe someone like Nick Pope would leave Burnley. I think he's going to stay um, there. But I would see someone like a Tarkovsky leaving. But I think Nathan Collins is a great replacement for Tarkovsky. I think he's done very well in the Premier League um, since making his debut for Burnley. I think looking at uh, other players in there, Dwight McNeil and Cornet, those two guys are probably set to go. So this is a great question from Runner B, and we're going to look at that as a replacement for Cornet and McNeil. Um, and we're going to go into League One. Look, sometimes we do Premier League, sometimes we talk about the Bundesliga all the time, but we're going to go and get Scott Twine from MK Dons. Um, Scott's a player that's jumped out this season. Um, they lost in the League One playoff finals. Uh, MK Dons did, so they could uh, be in for a move. In terms of his statistics, in League One, 47 games played, 20 goals and 13 assists. The most goal involvement in League One at 33. He also had the most shots in the competition, uh, averaging 3.3 per game, 157 shots, which is the most, and created 112 chances, the third most in the competition at 2.4 per game. Uh, played the majority of his minutes on the left wing or as a number 10. And I think that's kind of where Burnley could be looking uh, to bring in someone like him, uh, kind of a player that likes to play off the striker, uh, scored four goals, in the recent game uh, against Plymouth Argyle, showing his real quality. Had a whopping 10 shots in the game, missed one big chance. Uh, I think he's got a lot of um, a lot of promise, and I think he could be a good uh, recruit at 22 years old for Burnley. A little bit of a dead ball specialist as well. Uh, six goals and three assists from free kicks and corners this season. So I think, look, you know, we go Burnley. We've, we've solved our first problem. Uh, Runner Bean, there is your replacement. For, for Corne uh, and uh, Dwight McNeil. Uh, next up, we're going to go to Jakob's question. Jakob asking about Spurs. Again, we can only do one player. Uh, Spurs this summer need a left-footed centre-back, uh, a right wing-back, a left wing-back, a creative midfielder and a backup striker. Uh, I think for me, for priority, I think wing-backs have got to be first. Um, and I do think that Spurs should go out to Frankfurt um, after they've won uh, the Europa League uh, and bring in Philippe, Philippe Kostic, uh, a player that has got great talent and a player that hasn't aged as much as I thought he would. You know, if you asked me how old he was, I would have said 31. Uh, but Kostic is a classic left wing back in the Europa League this season. Uh, three goals and four assists, uh, including a man of the match display at the new Camp. Uh, where he scored twice, got an assist, created three chances, had four shots on goal. He's just your classic player that's going to play very, very high and could give good balance to Spurs' attack uh, in, an, you know, in, in and around the Premier League, in the Champions League, of course, they got there this season. Uh, in the Bundesliga, four goals and nine assists as well. I just think he's a player that would fit into Conte Spurs. He's got that intensity about him. Um, but also, it's that natural left wing back. He's played there for many, many a year. Uh, the big thing as well, over the last four seasons, uh, he's registered 44 assists in the Bundesliga. That's 11 per season. We saw his brilliant assist 
in the Europa League final uh, for Rafael Bore. Uh, really quick, first time ball into the box. Imagine Harry Kane getting onto the back end of some of those balls. I think it could be a sensational uh, move for Spurs. The only thing that you'd say that's a caveat to that is it's going to stop the development of Ryan Sessegnon, who have been massively impressed with it at the back, of the back end of the season. But Kostic, Sessegnon, Spurs are going to be playing in multiple competitions. I think he is the guy available for 12 million. He's the player that I've selected. Uh, all right, let's move on to another question. Uh, this time we are going to go to Arsenal and Hamza's question uh, on Twitter. Uh, Arsenal striker and number eight. Again, we're only allowed to deal with one problem. Um, Arsenal have obviously... Uh, recruited well uh, in defence. I think they've recruited well in midfield. But up front is a hole. We haven't seen Arsenal move for a striker in the transfer window. And if you want to get Premier League ready, proven to go, Gabriel Jesus, for me, has got to be the number one choice because he'll be a real solid option. He's got the Premier League experience. There's going to be no period of adaptation. This season, he's not played much for Man City. They want to sell him. Haaland's coming into the football club. Could get him at a cut price deal. Eight goals, eight assists in all comps. Uh, the majority of his minutes have come from uh, the right-hand side. Um, but when he was... Um, utilised against Watford. Uh, there was times where he was through the middle, four goals and an assist. We know he's got the quality on the ball. He's worked with Mikel Arteta uh, previously, uh, 25 years old. So he's sort of coming into the, the prime of his career. He's a signing that I like for Arsenal. Makes a lot of sense for them and would be a signing that you'd know what you'd get. you get the quality going forward. If Arsenal want to go a little bit outside the box, obviously Sassuolo uh, have got a lot of different players that could suit uh, Arteta's forward line, the likes of Raspadori or even Domenico Berardi, who's had one of his best ever seasons uh, as a right winger, 15 goals and 14 assists, directly involving 29 Serie A goals. But if they want that pure number nine, it is Skamaka, a player that can play to his feet. They can bounce off him. He's going to be a threat inside the penalty area. A lot of Zlatan Ibrahimovic comparisons are with his technical ability, but also because he's six foot five, capable of spectacular goals, moments of flair. Good back to goal would be a fantastic focal point, but there'd be variability in there. You know, the move from Syria to the Premier League is a tough one. So, you know, you might not get that same instant level which Gabriel Jesus could bring. For me, if it were up to me, I'd go Skamaka because I love Syria. Uh, but Gabriel Jesus could be a real solid option. Finally, we're going to have to take a look at Connor. His tweet, um, the first person to... Get involved with Statman Dave Selects. Uh, West Ham, we need a lot more players in our squad, especially with another European tournament coming up, uh, the positions. Uh, I think the most we need is a backup striker, an actual left winger, uh, a new left back, uh, a new goalkeeper, backup or a new centre back. Uh, for West Ham United, I think their squad's quite an interesting one. I don't genuinely think they need a, uh, a left winger. I think Fornells has shown real quality out there this season. I think Vasilic will come into it and provide some quality there. Uh, a new left back is a good shout. Cresswell's not getting any younger, but Ben Johnson's coming and been really good. Uh, a new goalkeeper, they're set to re-sign Areola uh, on a longer-term deal. I think long-term, that's good. I think the big problem for West Ham has been, as we know, having a backup or competitive striker. Poor old Michel Antonio's had a little bit of problems with injury this season. Um... And it's obviously affected his form, but still 10 goals and 8 assists is really, really good. When you look at a striker for West Ham, it's difficult because you probably need someone that's either going to run the channels, that's going to be, you know, stretching defences, bringing teammates in, like Amico Antonio, or I feel you need someone that's a little bit ugly, that's going to cause the opposition a lot of problems. So I think for West Ham, you know, a signing that would be absolutely banging for them would be Ivan Toni. You know, he's a, a deep-lying forward. Um, he's got a hell of a lot of aggression to him. Uh, but playmaking striker, which I, I do like about him. And I think you think about West Ham's evolution after Mikel Antonio goes, Ivan Toni would be that guy. Uh, four goals from inside the six-yard box this season. So he has that, still got that penalty box striker mentality. That's only bettered by Sterling, Jota and Gundogan. Um but in terms of the, the other stats that we're looking at, 
creativity, uh, 1.3 key passes per game. Um, only Kane and Antonio have created more chances, so it's a similar type of forward. In terms of shots, only Harry Kane and Ronaldo have taken more. Uh, of course, 2.7 uh, per game. Only Harry Kane has created more big chances. Uh, Kane's 12 to uh, Tony's 10, but he actually ranks number one for expected assists for centre forwards. The playing style that you could get as well with Ivan Tony and Jared Bowen moving off, off that right hand side, I think could be absolutely spot on. Um, so I think, you know, West Ham United, how'd you solve those problems? You bring in good old Ivan Tony. Thanks for watching, guys. Do get into the comments below players you think your clubs should sign. And of course, check out Sofa School. The link is in the description below. Much love. See you later.